What's up? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Back in here in the shop doing another tackle tip, another review today. And you guys saw me deep cranking a ton this summer. So this video we're going to be talking about my deep cranking setup. Everything's going to be linked down in the video description just like the last video where we covered my favorite all around reel. This video we're diving into specific crankbait fishing and deep crankbait fishing. So. Uh, when I'm deep cranking, typically I'm casting that bait as far as I can. It's so important to make super far cast because the first 10 or 15 feet you reel on that crankbait and you're just getting it down in the water column to where you want to be bumping the bottom of the, the lake. So this right here is one of my go-to deep crankbaits. It's linked down below, but I, I won multiple tournaments off of it this summer. You guys saw it crazy. This Cloud 9 by 6 cents code AN10 gets you 10% uh, off with that. But my reel is really what is important on this setup. No pun intended. But right here, this is a 6 to 1 gear ratio. You see me burning it when I'm fishing it. And it, it's not just a 6 to 1 gear ratio that's important. I have plenty of 6 to 1 gear ratio reels. That last loose speed spool I showed you, 6 to 1 gear ratio, works great. Not great for deep crankbait fishing because you have to cast so far. This reel right here is the one I found that is the best for deep cranking. It is the loose BB1 reel. And the reason it's so effective is it holds so much line huge line capacity. I deep crankbait with 15 pound fluorocarbon and that is a lot thicker than 12 pound test when you're cranking. And you need a reel that can hold a lot of line. Especially on days you get out there and not only are you casting but you're long lining these fish. If there's fish stacked up on a ledge for 100 yards you can't cast 100 yards especially if you're going into the wind. So you cast, you put your rod tip in the water and you open up your bale and you troll. And then it, you, when you run out of line or get to the, the end of where the fish are, you start reeling. And this reel holds so much line. It is perfect for crankbait fishing. And yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. Lou's BB1 crankbait reel. It's a little more expensive than that last one I showed you. It's 199 bucks. But you only need one or two of them. I have three of them. Uh, a lot of times I take people fishing with me and and we, it's just so important to have a good setup when you're deep cranking or it's really hard. It wears you out. And that 6 to 1 is a nice slow enough ratio. It's got plenty of backbone in this reel. So this is a 6 to 4 to 1. Lose BB1. And like I said, try it out. You guys are always asking me what to use. And then the rod is also very important. This rod is a David Fritz perfect crankbait rod and it is 7 foot 11 inches. It is a medium heavy but that 7 foot 11, almost 8 foot allows you to really get some leverage on your cast. Fling that thing way out there and I burn this sucker. I burn it. The less time you give those fish to look at this bait, the more often they're going to react to it because if they sit there and stare at it, it doesn't look very real. But when it's burning by their face, it's bright, it's something they can see. I used to just throw shad colors, but I got hooked on this color this year, this blue truce, so cool. Such a good crankbait. You can see I've worn it out. You got hook marks in the side of it uh, just from me fishing it so much. And that bill gets worn out on the bottom too. I had one that I fished so much this year, I never lost it to where the bill was too deformed. I had to quit fishing it because I hit too many things. And I won multiple tournaments without losing a crankbait and fished it for probably two months. And uh, just had to retire it. But yeah, that's my crankbait setup. Let me know if you have any questions, anything I didn't cover in today's video. We're gonna be doing some more tackle tip videos here prior to Christmas. That way, if you guys are trying to order fishing gear for anybody, I'm trying to give you the best uh, information, the best setups, what I love to use. And I do a ton of fishing, so I hope this helps you out. But now we're gonna feed Ned. We're gonna feed Fat Ned. He's in the left corner of the tank today. Scout's out here looking at him. We're gonna feed him. And 
Here we go. Oh, we munched him. <laughs> you see how quick he munched him? That was awesome. He said, oh, that's crunchy. <laughs> that was awesome. He munched that bluegill, put three of them in there, and that third one, he just crushed it. Uh, the other two are kind of staying on the side of the tank, so he's not really swimming over there. But that one that swam next to him, whew, didn't stand a chance. He munched it. And I forgot to tell you guys, right now they're doing a big discount at TackleWarehouse.com on gift cards. If you purchase them right now through my link below. If you don't know what to get a fisherman in your family, get them a Tackle Warehouse gift card. They might not have a big boat to go out and fish ledges. They might be a bank fisherman. Get them a Tackle Warehouse gift card. They can buy anything, anything under the sun on TackleWarehouse.com. Use my link below. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your support. Hope you enjoy this video. We're going to come back at you here with another quick tip product video soon. Let me know if you're enjoying these. God bless you. Catch you on the next one. See you guys.